Yo, what is good, Jets Nation? Welcome back to Jets Media. This is Richie, and in this video, we're going to be breaking down Jermaine Johnson the second out of Florida State, the New York Jets' third first-round pick of the 2022 NFL Draft. This is the one player that I felt like was destined to be a New York Jet ever since the Senior Bowl, to be honest. I always felt like this is a player that just screams like a Robert Sala type of player that needs to be developed under him and Jeff Ulbrich because I think his potential is so high, especially in this scheme. And I'm really so excited that he is on the New York Jets because if you guys saw my live reaction to when he was drafted, I was pumped up as we all know we traded up to get him at number 26 i wanted to take jermaine johnson at number 10 and i obviously wanted garrett wilson as well so the fact that we got both garrett wilson and jermaine johnson on top of that of sauce gardner i'm still at a loss for words even though that is what two or three weeks gone by and jermaine johnson is a jet so i'm really excited to break down jermaine johnson in this video as you guys know i have a whole brand new series here on jets media called rookie profiles where we're going to be breaking down each individual rookie that the new york jets brought in in this last 2022 class i already uploaded videos on sauce gardner and garrett wilson so if you guys are interested in those two videos i'll leave it down below in the description and in this one it's going to be all about Jermaine Johnson, breaking down his strengths, his weaknesses, some stats, some expectations I have for him going into his rookie season, com player, uh, comparison, and other stuff about Jermaine. So before we hop into Jermaine Johnson's rookie profile, I just want to mention if you guys are new to Jets Media, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I got a lot of Jets content coming your way all throughout the rest of the offseason, of course. And if you guys want to check me out over on Instagram and Twitter, that is at NYJets underscore media. And if you enjoy the video, please do not forget to thumbs it up. With that being said, let's dive right into Jermaine Johnson in the second so first let's talk about his story because i feel like jermaine johnson's story is pretty inspiring um he's a player that went to juco he was uh featured on uh, last chance U, and i feel like he's a player that shows what it takes to you know grind and start from the bottom and work your way up you know going to junior college and then going to georgia for two years not being able to get in the rotation on the defensive line and then being able to transfer to fsu and put up the type of numbers that he did at fsu it's pretty awesome to see that he's resilient he has high character he's a guy with a lot of heart and I just feel like that type of story really tells you the type of person that Jermaine Johnson is not only his play on the field but off the field the type of heart that he has the character that he has and he just screams a Joe Douglas Robert Sala style player which is why I really thought he was destined to be a New York Jet at pick number 10 to be honest but the fact that he fell all the way to 26 and he's still on the Jets and we we're still able to get those two players in the top 10 still boggles my mind today so Jermaine Johnson before we get into all the stuff on the field I just want to say his stuff off the field is what really impresses me the most he's very well spoken he's humble he has a lot of you know swag to him as well and i feel like he's a guy that's just going to be a piece on this defense for a long long time so let's jump right into jermaine johnson's strengths the first strength i have is he is a perfect scheme fit this is a player that is going to benefit the most from this type of system because it's all about attacking the quarterback. It's all about being able to put your foot in the ground, put your hand in the dirt, and go after the quarterback. And I feel like Jermaine Johnson excels at just that. Uh, Marcus Spears, the guy in uh, ESPN, the former player who is a former defensive lineman, he actually had Jermaine Johnson at his, as his number one edge rusher in the entire draft class. He feels like he is the best pure pass rusher, and I feel like this scheme that is going to be implemented here with Robert Sala and Ulbrich, it's only going to benefit him the most. And I'm super excited that Jermaine's a Jet for that exact reason. Um, another thing I love about Jermaine, which is a strength for sure, is that he plays with violence. He talked about this in his press conference during rookie minicamp. He says that he plays with a sense of urgency he plays with an edge that's exactly and I, i'm gonna say this a lot in this video but it's exactly what robert sala wants in his players especially on the defensive line they want to have a certain mindset where they play with a violent edge to them you know another player that plays like that michael clemens the guy that we drafted in the fourth round i cannot wait to make my rookie profile on him later on in the week but the fact that Jermaine Johnson has this mindset, right? And that's the next strength, his mindset, because he, you can tell that he has a different demeanor when he's on the field and off the field, where he, when he puts a helmet on, he plays with a certain edge to him, he plays with violence. That's all we want to see in a Robert Sala style defense. Another thing I love about him, which is a strength, is he sets the edge beautifully. He's a guy that can. Even during the run, if a, if a handoff is going towards the side, he has a really good ability to be instinctual and know where to pursue his angles and, you know, get crazy blocks on him. He's able to shut off the blocks and sets the edge beautifully in the run. And, of course, he has that elite um, bend around the uh, corner that, that can get to the quarterback when he's doing those pass rushes. Um, another thing that is a strength that I just mentioned, he sheds off blocks with ease. You know, he's a guy that just really can shut off blocks, like, at a consistent level. He did that at FSU at a consistent basis, and I feel like he has the body... And 
in the NFL, you know, whereabouts to be impactful in his rookie season for sure um another strength is his pass rush that is what he is known to be a guy that can get to the quarterback had 11 and a half sacks last year at um the florida state university and i feel like his pass rush is what this jets defense needs desperately we've been waiting for our own edge to be that guy that we draft and develop for long term for so damn long carl lawson was that guy last year that we got in free agency we're expecting him to be able to get to the quarterback consistently on the edge and we all know what happened on that so with carl lawson coming back jermaine johnson being added with all the depth we added on the edge i'm expecting jermaine johnson to have a really big season to be honest he's also good at stopping the run you know it's not just a pass rusher and that's a, a really cool thing that jermaine johnson has because if you get a defensive end is he's usually either really good at getting to the quarterback and he struggles against the run or vice versa and jermaine johnson's good at both man um he's definitely better at getting to the quarterback than stopping the run but he's a really good defensive end that's able to stop uh plug those runs which is really important because we all know what happened last year the new york jets were so bad against the run so for jermaine johnson to have that as a strength is a big plus for this defense immediately and then the last one i have that i kind of alluded to already before we got into the strengths is his character the character goes such a long way in drafting players with joe douglas right joe douglas prioritizes the passion for the game the love the ability to just have that instinctual you know realization that football is their life that they want to get better because if you don't have that passion for the game then you don't have that will to be great you'll never achieve that and also he looks like a leader man he he said that he took over fsu when he transferred there he was a nobody right like nobody in the locker room knew about jermaine johnson simply because he was on georgia for two years and he went out there and he became the captain of that defense and became the leader of that team by being there for the first time you know and that tells you a lot about his character that he has that leadership ability which is awesome to see so let's get into some of his weaknesses um some weakness i've noticed is that he lacks a consistent bend i know that i did say he has really good bend as a strength but there are some times where it's not consistent right where and that means where he gets off the edge he beats the offensive tackle but he's not able to turn that corner precisely enough where the quarterback is getting sacked instead he takes a little wide angle and the quarterback has the room to step up in the pocket get rid of the ball and there's no quarterback hit or there's no pressure because of that so jermaine johnson he does have some uh, um some flashes on tape where he does have elite bend but it's inconsistent at times so that's definitely a weakness where you want to see him clean up at the next level where he can be able to bend around that edge be just one of those guys that gets low to the ground and just absolutely demolishes quarterbacks at a consistent basis that's what we want to see right um another weakness is his hands are not really skilled yet so he kind of relies a little bit too much on his power and his violence and doesn't do a lot of finesse moves and that's definitely a big weakness for jermaine johnson because when you're in college you can really just have that violent mindset and that power approach at the pass rush and get away with it at times but when you're in the nfl you need to be able to balance both because if an offensive tackle at the nfl level knows that you're just going to come after you with power and just try to literally just bulldog you to the quarterback every single time they're going to know what's coming so jermaine johnson needs to work on his finesse moves he needs to get better hands um that's the one thing that you don't really see a lot on tape that i feel like the jets coaching staff are going to do a great job of developing because if he can get a consistent finesse pass rush moves then that's when jermaine johnson gets on locked to another level and he reaches his potential right that's a big weakness just in terms of if he does get these type of things going and this becomes a strength watch out because jermaine johnson is going to be scary so that's definitely something that he does is he relies on his power instead of uh, going towards the finesse moves which you need to be able to do at the next level um another thing is you know he only has one year of really good production he was has two years at georgia it was a crowded defensive line he didn't get a lot of opportunities to really show what he's worth he put up decent numbers but not not a lot of production and then he goes to FSU and dominates. So there's only one year on tape of production of Jermaine Johnson in college. Now, you know, I just put this as a weakness just because like, you know, is it a fluke? Is it is this going to be consistent? I don't think it's going to be a fluke. I think that he is a player that is going to rise and rise. He's going to have a decent rookie season. He's going to get better and better as his career progresses with the New York Jets. And then the last thing I want to talk about is it's not really a weakness. It's just kind of a question that I always ask myself, and I'm sure some Jets fans and other NFL fans are wondering, why did he fall all the way to 26, right? We all expected Jermaine to be a top 10 player. He was top eight on the Jets board and he fell to 26. So that makes me wonder, is there a reason for it? Is there something that we don't know about him? Is it, you know what I mean? But I think to, to answer the question, I heard Robert Sala speak about it. It was, you know, when they got to 15 in the draft, all those teams 
they don't need a pass rush, right? They're all really good teams when you get to the 15 and on because those have those teams have winning uh, records. And usually, if you're a winning football team, you have an edge rusher because an edge rusher is one of the most important positions in sports. So they simply did not need Jermaine Johnson. Maybe that's the reason. Um, that's what I'm going with. So the only reason why I have it as a weakness is because it's a question that I have asked other people and wondering why he did fall to 26. If he's a player top eight on the Jets board, why did nobody else take him? But I'm not complaining because he's on the damn Jets, baby. Let's go. Now, let's get into his stats. He won ACC Defensive Player of the Year last year. This is a great award. You know, first season with FSU and absolutely dominated with these stats right here. 2021, he had 33 solo tackles, 70 total tackles, 17 and a half tackles for loss. That tells you how good he is against the run because he sets that edge and he had 17 and a half tackles for loss in one season. That's just unreal. He had two forced fumbles, two pass deflections, and then 11 and a half sacks. So these numbers just jump off the screen like whoa if he can have a season like this with the new york jets when he hits his peak oh my gosh is he gonna be putting up great numbers and great things for this defense as a whole because we need a player that's able to put up this type of production on the edge desperately especially somebody that can do both of getting to the quarterback and being able to stop the run getting those tfls i think is the most impressive part of this entire stat right here i know that 11 and a half sacks is awesome but 17.5 tackles for loss that is a lot, and that is a great job from Jermaine Johnson in his um, last season in college. Now, let's get into some of his expectations that I have, at least, for his rookie season and beyond. The first thing is I'm expecting him to have an immediate impact as a rookie. Now, do I, am I expecting him to put up the numbers that I just showed, 11 and a half sacks and all that stuff? No. You know, if I want to put a baseline on a sack number for him in his rookie season, I'd like to see him get six plus. I think if he stays healthy... And there's no injury concerns. I do not see Jermaine Johnson, you know, getting six or less sacks. I feel like he's a player that could get six or more sacks if he's healthy, plays at least 15 plus games. I think that's a good baseline for, for him in, as his rookie season. If he gets anything above six in his rookie season, that's phenomenal stuff. You know, as an edge rusher in the NFL as a rookie, it's not that easy. So I'm definitely expecting him to come out there and not really be a player that's like looked at as a rookie that needs to be developed over time. It's kind of like he's ready to go. He's ready to go out there and play football. He is is going to be an immediate impact as a rookie. I really do expect that. Um, another thing I'm expecting is for him to prove to be a core piece of this defensive line for the future, because that's what this is all about, right? That's what drafting players is about. After the rookie season, can you look at Jermaine Johnson and say, I think that he is going to be the core part of this entire defense for the foreseeable future because he showed enough in his rookie season where there's still room to develop there's still some things he needs to work on but the potential is there and that's what i want to see from jermaine johnson as a rookie um another thing i want to see which will be awesome is establish himself as the young leader on defense because you know this defense um comparative to the offensive offensive side of the ball there's a lot of you know young talent there's a lot of you know sp like stars potential stars on the on the on the offense right on defense there's not really that many right we obviously got sauce garner who's going to be that young star that we're hoping to develop into but outside of that you know we have quinn and williams who's the anchor of the defense with john franklin myers cj mosey's kind of leader of the defense but i kind of want to have a young player to step up to be the captain because on offense we kind of have a lot of young players you know michael carter on offense the rookie is a player that i is that's very vocal as a young player to being that leader which i absolutely love so who's going to be that guy in defense in the young nucleus that's going to step up and be that leader is it going to be sauce or is it going to be jermaine johnson i'm looking at uh jermaine johnson to be that guy that can really step up and um, be a leader in year number one and uh prove to be that guy that everyone looks up to even though he is a rookie and then to finish it off man i, I already mentioned the, the stat prediction but six plus sacks can you get me that jermaine six plus sacks in your rookie season so Let's get into some of his combine stuff because this is pretty nuts. 4.5840 yard dash. I think this is pretty impressive for a man that weighed in at 254 pounds at six foot five, 34 inch arms, and nine and seven eighth inch hands. I mean, he is a huge man. He is built like a beast. And I feel like he is just freakishly athletic where he's only going to get even more athletic throughout his career, especially in his early uh, stages with the New York Jets. He had a 32 vertical jump and 125 broad jump. So he lit up the combine and he also lit up the senior bowl, which is really important. He lit up the senior bowl so much to the point where he dominated that practice. And he actually went up against... Um, Max Mitchell, a player that we drafted, and he was getting the best of Max Mitchell throughout those one-on-one -on -one reps in the Senior Bowl practice. And he did not need to play in the game because he impressed that much in the Senior Bowl. And the Jets coaching staff was definitely impressed because they traded up to get that man. And then a player comparison that I have for Jermaine Johnson is Max Crosby. Now, Max Crosby is an interesting player because 
He was drafted by the Raiders, and he wasn't really looked at as a guy that's going to become anything crazy. He was developed into that, and now Max Crosby is looked at as a top edge rusher in the NFL. Um, so if Jermaine Johnson can reach that potential, that would be great. I don't think he's going to be Max Crosby right out of the gate. I think it's more of like that thing where you want Jermaine Johnson to become like a Crosby when he becomes, you know, hits his prime in the NFL, whenever that is. So that's my thoughts of Jermaine Johnson. I love to hear what you guys have to say about Jermaine Johnson and your thoughts of his rookie season coming up. What are your expectations, some strengths and weaknesses that you guys notice when you watch any Jermaine Johnson's film? Uh, I love to hear what you guys have to say down below in the comments. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Let's go Jets. Peace.